Hi, I'm Ali. In this tutorial, we'll pick up where we left off last time and begin the construction of our simple neighborhood model, which will serve as the basis for our simulations. All the project files I make at the end of each tutorial will be available online so you can follow along with me. To begin, open Rhino, which I've done here, and click on the UMI icon to open the project from last time. We're going to select the project, newproject.umi. Now once the project has loaded as it has done here, I'm going to click on the UMI icon again and select Save Project As and name the project FAR for Floor to Area Ratio. Now we're ready to start modeling. We'll model our simple neighborhood with a series of boxes. To make the first box, type the command box and select the dimensions of the box. Here, we'll select the first corner and give it logical dimensions, 6 meters by 6 meters with a height of 3 meters. To make multiple buildings, type the command array and select an array of, here we'll do 5 units by 5 units. And to model streets and the gaps between buildings, we'll use a spacing of 15 meters in both x and y directions. And here we have the model of our neighborhood. If you click on the Layers tab to the right of the canvas, you can see that UMI has auto-generated a series of layers. Now, we're going to select all our buildings. And in the Properties tab, change their layers from default, which they are right now, to the UMI Buildings layer. Next, we need to define a ground surface for our neighborhood. We're going to type the command surface point and select four points. Here the vertices of four buildings that cover the entire area underneath our neighborhood. One, two, select this corner, and here. And now we have the ground underneath the buildings. We're going to scale this up a bit to make sure all our buildings are included. And now we're going to select the surface go into the Properties tab and change the layer from default to UMI Context Ground Layer. Now we're ready to begin our first simulation, the calculation of the FAR or Floor to Area Ratio. This is basically a ratio of the total gross floor area of each building on our site to the area of the site itself. It's a rough representation of density and a hi higher FAR will necessarily indicate a denser neighborhood. Now we're going to click on the UMI Project tab and we'll, you can see a series of settings. The first is a location setting. Here you can load an EPW weather file specific to the site you're working on. The second is the building template setting. Here you can load a .xml file with the construction material and type as well as schedules and loads for your buildings. The third is the amenities tab which will allow you to import important uh, statistics for the mobility calculations. More resources on working with both the building uh, template library and the amenities template settings can be found in the help files online. For all the tutorials, we'll be using the default settings for all these three categories. Now select the building settings tab. Here you can select each building and assign it a specific name and building template. For now, we'll select all our buildings with the command cell poly surface. This is a very useful command for selecting all the buildings. And we're going to assign them to a default template. Here we're going to go down and just select any one of them. For this simulation, it really doesn't matter. We're going to change it uh, later on. We'll select this. And you're going to see another series of uh, settings pop up the window to wall ratio for each facade and floor to floor height for each building. And we're going to keep these as they are the default for now. Now we're going to go to the simulate tab and uh, click on Recalculate for Site FAR. And we're going to get this value, 0 0.16, for our neighborhood. Of course, since our model is not dense at all, you can easily tell this by looking at it, we're not going to get a low FAR value. This may not be optimum for your specific design situation, and so you may want to increase the density of your design at this stage in the process. We're going to close this. We're going to go File, Save. 
And now you can close Rhino. And we're all set with that. In the next tutorial, we'll perform the operational energy simulation for our neighborhood.